हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट 2006 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर टू मार्क्स लेट मी रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट देन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम हैज अ लेवल वन इंस्ट्रक्शन कैश दैट इज आई कैश अ लेवल वन डेटा कैश दैट इज डी कैश एंड अ लेवल टू कैश दैट इज एल टू कैश विद द फॉलोइंग स्पेसिफिकेशन so they are specifying capacity the mapping method as well as the block size in these three caches just have a look at those then they are saying the length of physical address of a word in main memory is 30 bits the capacity of tag memory in i cache d cache and l2 cache is respectively okay so you are required to find out the size of tag directory in all the three caches okay these two are level 1 and this one is level 2 cache so they are organized like this so this is your i cache this is d cache here you are going to have the level 2 cache okay so this one is level 1 and here you have level 2 cpu will be here and main memory will be present here now we are required to find out the size of tag directory in each of the three cases that means the size of tag field multiplied by number of blocks or lines in cache that will give you the size of tag directory because each and every line in cache has a tag associated to it so number of lines into the tag field size so let's first find out the number of lines in cache in each and every case so i cache is of 4k words and a block size or line size in this case is 4 words so let us just find out the number of lines total capacity is 4k words divided by the line size will give you the number of lines so 4k divided by 4 this one will be 1k so there are total of 1k lines in this cache okay let me just write it number of lines here also you will be having 1k lines only because the size of cache as well as block is same here it will be 64k divided by 16 because size of cache is 64k words size of a line is 16 words so number of lines will be 64 divided by 16 which comes out to be 4 and k W and W words and words will get cancelled. Okay. Anyways, this is the number of lines. It's just a number. It will not have any unit. Okay. Now let's focus on this first cache. They are saying it's using direct mapping. Okay. Now you very well know physical address in case of direct mapping will be split into three parts. That is the tag, line number, and block offset. So here are those three parts. tag line number and block offset okay block offset as you all might know is used to identify one word from a entire block here there are a total of four words in one block that means you need only two bits to identify one of four words also physical address is given as 30 bits that means this entire part is of 30 bits okay now let's try to find out line number line number field is used to identify one of the total number of lines present in cache cache has 1k lines 1k means 1024 that can be written as 10 sorry 2 raised to the power 10 that means to identify one line out of 1k lines you need 10 bits okay obviously because 
log to the base 2 1k is 10. Now you can just subtract it and get the number of bits in tag field. This comes out to be 18. Okay. 30 minus 12 is 18. Now you got to know that there are total 18 bits in tag field. Also, there are 1k lines. That means the size of tag directory is going to be. Uh, let's just write it properly. So, size of tag directory. It will be size of tag field into the number of tags. Now you know each and every line in cache will have a tag. Okay, so number of lines is 2 raised to the power 10. That means we have 1k lines each having a tag of 18 bits. So total size of tag directory will be 18 bits times 1k. Okay, so the options in question are given in this format only. That means bits into some number. So let's keep it like that. Now just focus on the D cache. It is two-way set associative mapping. Okay, two-way set associative mapping. This means each and every set will contain two lines. Now the sizes are same. That means 4K words, 4K words. Also block size is same. Saying that block size is same means this two remains as it is. Okay, blocks, uh, block offset field or the word field. It's also called word field. It will remain of same size. That means two bits. Number of lines will also remain same. Okay, we have already calculated. 1k lines, 1k lines. How many sets will be there? I am saying you, size of each set is two lines. Total number of lines is 1k. How many sets will be there? Obviously 1k divided by 2. So that comes out to be 512. Number of sets in cache. So you can see number of sets in cache will be cache size by set size. That comes out to be 512. Now you see physical address in case of k way set associative mapping is split into three fields. First one is tag, second one is set number, and the third one is block offset. Okay, just forget, uh, forget about this i cache now. This one is done. I'm changing it here only. Okay, so this question actually had three parts this, this one, and this one. First one is solved. We have found out the answer for direct mapping. This field will become set number. Okay. Let's find out how many bits will be there in set number. Total number of sets were 512. We just found out. That means 9 bits will be required for uh, addressing one of the 512 sets. Because purpose of this field is to uniquely identify one of the total sets present in cache. 512 is the total number of sets, which is also equal to 2 raised to the power 9. That means log 512 will be 9. Okay. Next one is tag. You can easily see uh, 9 plus 2 is 11 and 30 minus 11 will be 19. Okay. So in this case, tag is of 19 bits. That means this will be 19 bit multiplied by what? Will it be 2 raised to the power 9? No. Even though we are using set associative mapping, still we will have a tag with each and every line. Okay. Number of lines is 1k only. That means if each and every line has a tag, so we will multiply it with 1k. Okay. Size of tag into number of tags. So let's now focus on L2 cache. In this case also, the split will be same. That means tag, set number and block offset. Because anyways, both of these are k-way set associative mappings. The only difference will be 
in number of bits uh, related to set number okay also you very well know that the address is going to be of 30 bits only because this address is referring to some word of main memory cpu is not aware of cache structure and all that stuff cpu wants a word from main memory okay so this 30 bit address is going to be same for all of these all of these three caches the thing is how we interpret it for this one cache the interpretation will be different that means the split is different for these two caches also the split will be different now let's try to find out how many bits are there in which field as you can see block offset is 16 words that clearly means you need four bits in this field okay the block is or block size is 16 words so block offset field will be of four bits because 16 can be written as two raised to the power four next thing is this set number we have already seen that there are 4k lines in this cache okay that also means here we'll multiply the size of tag by 4k okay whatever be the size of one tag we'll certainly have 4k tags because each and every line in cache will have a tag associated to it okay now our only job is to find out the size of tag in this cache let's do that so we have 4k lines and it is four way set associative that means the number of sets will be 1k okay because you can see cache size is number of sets in cache will be cache size divided by set size cache size is 4k lines and the set size is four lines this is given in question four way set associative this comes out to be 1k okay which is 2 raised to the power 10 that means you have a total of 1024 sets to identify one of 1024 sets a 10 bit address will be required okay now this total becomes 14 bit that means you are left with 16 bits for tag so this one will be 16 bit into 4k so let's see if all these values are present in options 1k cross 18 bit 1k cross 18 bit 1k cross 19 bit 1k cross 19 bit and 4k cross 16 bit yeah we have this in options and it is option a so answer to this question is a part and these are the values okay